in and out Burger, Pomona Drag Strip, and the great American movie, The Sandlot. It's stated, legends never die, and I believe that's the same for race cars, and we've got one in the staging lanes that is an old Bruce Allen pro stocker, Rich Okerman at the wheel. He's on the Competition Plus. Dot com peak pit note next well we're here toward the end of the Pomona drag strip and we've caught up with Rich Okerman here and uh, he's got one well bad fast yet old hot rod give us the rundown on this machine man oh this is uh, Don Ness pro stock car used to belong to uh, rare Morrison and Bruce Allen drove it I don't know exactly how long and then uh, eventually it went to a guy named Harold Whitmore out of Texas and Tony Christian drove it in pro stock back then and I know he won pro stock in 1990 in Dallas. Uh, we've actually been racing in Dallas before and people approach us down there and they recognize the car and it's kind of fun you know it has a lot of history. So I got it in 2004 after destroying a Camaro super gas car and uh, we've been ran we ran it in uh, super gas super comp and then top sportsman came about about and uh, seemed like a good car to try it and we've been doing it ever since had a uh, pretty good success with it as well so we're not the fastest but uh, we've had good luck well you don't always have to be the fastest i do wonder though what are the challenges of working with a car with uh, so many runs and so many years on it um, I don't know if it's so much challenges. I mean, uh, some of my friends say the advantage I have is that I rarely change anything, right? So people are changing stuff all the time and then they have a learning curve where we kind of, we do little changes and I try to put our money where it's most effective, you know, instead of my buddy is like, well, why don't you get a new paint job? Uh, I don't know. It's okay. You know, we like it <laughs> and uh, it's different and people do recognize it from the past. So there's that uh, but as far as the way it works you know we've just tried to keep up with uh, uh, suspension parts and the motor uh, a guy at hot rod performance and torrents takes really good care of the motor it's a aluminum 632 um, at sea level like here it goes seven flat uh, we have been in the sixes a few times but not lately we thought we'd do it today because we went uh, 7.002 and uh, but anyhow uh, it's been a really great car uh, rich how tough is it in top sportsman in the nhra today give us the breakdown of what it's like competing in this particular class um it's pretty tough i mean any drag racer i, I think if they're honest will tell you that there's a lot of uh luck comes into play because you can do really good and lose you know and not so good and win sometimes so um but you have to be there. So um, me being a slower car, a lot of the time, I try to dial it honest, you know, as close as I can. Uh, we had a race in, in uh, Phoenix Divisional, and it was at night, super dark, and I was racing uh, a guy, Jeff Connolly, and, and when his car goes down good, he's going 230, and I think I was going about 193 there. So it's like, I, I'm not gonna be able to pick him up at night, you know, especially. You know, I got mirrors, so, and we use them a lot, but at night, uh, something like that, it'd be hard to figure out. So, um, for the most part, I try to dial it honest, and uh, you gotta, like they say, cut a light and run the number, you know, and then uh, hopefully things go your way. Old race cars that are good cars never die. Rich Okerman here on the CompetitionPlus.com Peak Pit Note.